This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerable. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. Oh. Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We're about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the Crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men. A band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft. And you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson, the train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. Welcome back to chapter two. Seems like we're going into the beautiful English countryside and we are going to be protecting, I guess, the queen. I'm not quite sure if they had a king or queen in Great Britain at this time, but alas, we'll no doubt find out. Let's go talk to Watson, see what he's got to say for himself. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. <laughs> Come on, it change my attire a little bit. It is a very interesting hat, to say the least. Haven't seen one of them in my lifetime, but let's go out. We can change the task. Or, oh, okay, I guess I need to actually walk through the door. Watson, I'll hold a cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. <laughs> a week later, in we go into the cab. Damn, Watson definitely took his time. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I've found out a little bit more about the game. There's six cases overall. This is the second one. And I actually don't think they're all tied in together like I previously had thought. I'm sure it's one way or another they will be. But so far, I'm really liking the way that uh, there's like a moral dilemma. We need to uh, pick and choose our options. So it's pretty different and it's definitely something new. And I'm really liking it as well. What a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. The poor man. But, Holmes, the headlight, it's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. 
Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. Thanks, Obama. It's obviously Obama's fault. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh, there is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Next morning, very, very early. <laughs> you would have thought we were in the morning previously because of the fog and all. But anyway, let's open up with our deductions. Not quite sure what there is to deduce from what we've gathered so far. There are no clues available at the moment. Please continue the investigation. Okay. As we had thought. It seems like the loading screens also change every um, scene as well. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. All right, so now this is the scene. Interesting. So we've got to solve the mystery of the vanished train. Inspect the rails where the train vanished. Jeez, this is going to be an interesting one. That's for certain. Let's go run. Hopefully we don't get too tired. Okay. Uh, what? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. We can um, hold... Press in both thumbsticks and that gives us this little option. Um, nothing really that I want to see. Actually, that's what I want. I wanted to launch my imagination. See if we can find anything. What is the left bumper? Okay. Left bumper just gets rid of that. And I think we need to go this way. Seems like that's a well of some sort. No doubt I'm probably wrong, but... place where we saw the train vanish last night. Okay, that's very interesting. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. Okay, that's the empty a bottle. Discarded item. Let's have a look at the railway sleepers. The train. Oh, there's some birds here in the countryside, very nice. Railway sleepers, nothing okay. unusual. Okay, well, what about the rails themselves? The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. Interesting. Seems like it literally vanished. There are no Nothing. signs to indicate that the train ran off the track. Nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. This investigation won't be simple. We shall require a map okay. of the region. Perhaps the station master could lend us so one. So it seems like we're not in London the whole time, which is actually a nice change of scenery. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? That's why I'm asking you there, Watson. I guess it's all up to me, though. You are rather incompetent. He's our little minion, after all. Actually, I haven't really read any of the Sherlock Holmes, um, or whoever wrote the Sherlock Holmes novels, so be no doubt very interesting Let's see what this guy has to say if that's ever happened before I doubt it I don't think he's got anything to do with it either good morning allow me to introduce myself my name is Sherlock Holmes and this is my friend and colleague dr. Watson yes I remember you I'm station master Everett you were here last night so you were mr. Holmes the great detective Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Okay, so we've got to do a character assessment of him. Uh, have a look at the mole. No, that doesn't really give us any tips. Okay. I'm sure his face has got some... No, here we go. This hat. No? Okay. What about, okay. Can we look at the fabric? Oh, here we go. Something there. Spots of earth. I can't really see the spot. Uh, sort of. What about the ring? Wedding ring? Alright. 
It's actually good that it shows us how many things we need to see. So there's four in total. These buttons don't give anything away. Oh, here we go. An honorary badge. It's got to be someone with his hat. That we've missed. It's got a bit of an ass chin, really. Um, no, that's just his shadow. I see that it's, uh, the outline of the shadows comes out red in this game for one reason or another. What about that button? No? Okay. Must be something else. It's like pulley grog. I've got no idea what it is. says. The tie, maybe? No? We will figure it out. I swear it's got to be the hat, but it's not. Oh, here we go. Fully grey hair. Okay. I thought it was something like pulley or something. Anyway, so let's ask for information about the train. Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, uh, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. We'd love that, as well as the railway map. I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. Okay. See you later, my good man. Hopefully we're going to be able to enter into here. Yes, we are. Railway post bags. Okay. So don't think this is the room that I really wanted to go in, but we can never really check enough. Because, like, last scene, I missed out on a fair few things as well. Like, I missed out on six pieces of evidence. Fortunately for us, we chose the right uh, decision, but still, it's a fair amount that I missed out on. I wonder what they could have been as well. I thought I literally thought I covered everything, but there's a lot. This map will be useful. Okay. All right. So now I guess we can um, travel around the railway stations in the area. Okay. So I've done that. We found the map. Let me talk to Watson. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Nothing else that I can really spot out. But that's what I should be using more. Wait, what's the difference between these visions? Seems like they're all the same. And you can press right bumper. Wait, what if I do this? Right bumper does launch Sherlock talent and left, okay, launches the imagination. Oh, right, I actually don't know the difference between the two. Okay. But neither of them really helps us out. So let's get out of here. Um, there's something else that I needed to get, but I'll keep on looking around here. Let's see if there's anything here. Ooh, a junk pile. Seems like there's something that we need to do over here. Oh wow, don't tell me we need to move things about. Come on, Sherlock. What about CZI imagination? That's not gonna work, okay. This part is probably from a locomotive. Probably. probably. I'd say that is a good assumption. An old locomotive bell. This place serves as a storage area for the station. Okay, it's not really going to help us out. This part is probably from a locomotive. What about here? Nope, that's not going to help us out at all. What is that? Like a boiler or something of this sort? Come on, move over, Watson. We've got business to do. Can't see anything around here. For us? Alright, so we've been in the train service. We've been into the waiting hall. Uh, we've been over here as well, haven't we? With all those postal bags. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. Right, and in the train office is the train manifest, I think he said. Something of the sort, so. Not there. Okay, here we go. A telegraph. Sherlock. 
Should be on the table. Here we go. Message to all stations. Mr. Robinson is located at Bridlington Station. Who's this Mr. Robinson? A new telegram. I think we should meet this Mr. Robinson. So that is a mighty good idea. All right. So we're going to meet that guy. There's really not much else for us to have a look at. Here is the train set. Okay, let's have a look at the train composition. The line is from Nottingham to London. Uh, the type, it's a train liner, I guess. Number 324. Composition, 324 composition. Locomotive, coal car, first class car, postal wagon, and a special wagon ordered by Mr. Robinson. Oh. Okay. I'll just check out this room first. All right, this seems like that's about it that we can really do around here. So, some of the evidence can be used in the investigation and it will be marked with specific icons. So this, the train composition can help us out. Uh, let's see, where can we travel to? Just Evesham. Isn't that where we are, Evesham? Okay, that is where we are. So that hasn't really helped us out all that much. Let's have a look at what's happening over on this side though. Okay, the cab just takes us to other places. Oh, we can run out to <laughs> get to other places. All right, what's over here? This is the waiting hall again, isn't it? Just another entrance to it. All right, but there's nothing really that we're missing over here. Not Nothing that I can at least tell. Like that grandfather clock, uninteractable. Why does Watson always get in our way? Nothing over on this side. God damn it, Watson. Don't tell me what you get maybe stuck now. Right, I'm gonna have to try to come over here. Get him to follow me. Oh, Watson. You bastard. No. <laughs> no. Watson, Watson, Watson. What have you done to me? Alright, somehow I've managed to push through Watson. And these people seem like they might have some idea. Unfortunately, it's not letting me actually get to them. Which is really unfortunate. It's teasing us. Literally teasing us. We can only go that way. So. Can we see anything in our imagination? No. Oh, here we go. I can see that train. That's about it. I need to go back over here, though. Before the game goes too crazy. Disappeared very close to us. Um, maybe I'll be able to have a look at something over on this side, though. To London. Ah. Oh. Right. So that door seemed promising. Now what's our imagination telling us? Not much really. There was a building here not so long ago. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? It was disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. It is. It definitely is. What's this? Look, a little pulley with a rock. Almost seems like it's a body covered up. But it's not, obviously. Does this give us any clues? Ah, oh, there we go. That's what the game wants us to have a look at. These traces. There's nothing I can really do. It seems like this is an old train line, though. Multiple traces of what? And wheel lines. It's got to help us out somehow. Obviously. There's no way we can get in through there. Doesn't seem like I'll be able to get in through there either. So it's got something to do with this, although I'm not quite sure how do we interact. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. How exactly do we interact with these things?
have a look at what's in here maybe if that'll give us any clues which it doesn't seem like it will Holmes how is it even possible for a train to disappear Let's take a closer look. Right, and what exactly are we supposed to be measuring, I guess, from one side to the other? The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. All right, that's quite the distance. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh, and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Probably the materials that were in this little shed. That would make sense. Okay. So the game's telling us we've got a new piece of information. The dismantled warehouse. There is a disassembled warehouse in the Evesham. Evesham. And deep traces left by a large truck with a base of around 6 feet 7 inches that was most likely transporting materials. Okay. It doesn't have anything to do with this? I guess not. Holmes, how is it even possible? Uh, we don't really have any new information around here though, do we? Okay. So we can't make any new deductions though, can we? With this. Alright. I'm not quite sure what we are supposed to be looking at now. I can't really go down further here, can I? Because the game just kicks me out. Okay. What if I talk to the train conductor now? Or I check this area out. Unfortunately, I can't really get down there, though, can I? Can't get over there to those people either. So that's unfortunate. 